Hi guys, not charity shop gold or garbage today. We went out to Thornbury. Uh, it's about five, six or seven charity shops out there, but I didn't find anything that was worth buying. But the advantage of Thornbury is there's also the recycling centre where they have a shop that they sell off the stuff that people dump there. So we had a look and I found this magnetic sticks and balls fifty pence and I think it's actually two sets because the set that should be in here is just these coloured sticks with the um, balls on them and yet here we've got these other ones as well so for 50 pence I've done well there I really only bought this sort of thing so I could pinch the magnets out of them for the other little projects I do but I've put them together just to see what I can make out of it uh, nothing very exciting but I've used all the bits and I'll see what else I can do with it. I've actually given some of these to charity shops recently because I had several sets. So my wife was quite surprised when I bought them. I said, well, 50 pence, I can't leave them there. We'll see what else we can do with them. I'm trying various ways of making use of these magnets. This one's not very successful. I'm trying to use them on this pulse motor. You can see it's trying to move. It's a bit rocking gently there. Oh. <laughs> it nearly got going. That's not quite there. That's the coil out one of those rocking um, flowers, or snowmen in my case. It's a solar panel on the side there, and the little circuit boards sort of tucked in behind. So it sends a pulse of current to that coil, which should repel the magnets, which it's doing, but it's not doing quite enough to get it spinning. I tried it with just six and it didn't push far enough, so I doubled it up to 12 of these little magnet sticks and it's still not there. If I give it a bit of help, it lasts for a while, but it's not really successful. I'll give it a little push. The sun's gone in now anyway. See, it's going for longer than it would have done without the coil pushing it. But it's just not there. Just for comparison, if I take that out, that's just a bit of pizza tray that I've taped the magnets onto. If I just use my little aeroplane that's only got four magnets but they're more powerful and that one's quite happy in this amount of sunlight <laughs> that was going for a minute then oh it is still going it seemed to stop as soon as I got the camera on it I think I'll take it apart, that's a failure really. Or at the very best, just a semi-success. When we actually look at them closely, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they've corroded. They did have shiny magnets in there, but all of them 
the shininess has peeled off. Oh, I can just see that one's got a bit of shiny left on it. I expect they were chrome plated or some similar metal, but it's peeled off. So they're pretty old, I should think. Again, that's the circuit board out of a rocking flower. That's the coil. I actually rigged it up so I can use batteries, but I have got a solar panel on there at the moment. Now that is working very much like the pulse motor. As the magnet goes over it, it gets a pulse of current to repel it. How about we put the other end of the magnet, the other pole? Balance it back up again. What else can we do with it? <laughs> 